Oh, what is this? A not slim one positive vibes video? A fucking one hour monologue. <laughs> like, talking some shit to me last night in the fucking chat. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I was doing a lot of talking, granted. Oh, can you hit start on the music? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Why do you gotta fuck it? Why don't we watch it? <laughs> so upset. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. Yo hey. What up Josh Vaughn? Here to talk filth with the robot's voice. Nice. <laughs> Looking forward to some nice advice tonight. Alright. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why don't you have me mod? Guys, why don't you have me mod? Why would we have you mod? Been here for like a month. I don't even know you. <laughs> yeah, we don't know who you are. Get the fuck out of here! How about that? You're just somebody who gets off on a robotic voice and talks Phil. Yeah. Okay, no, that's pretty cool. I think we should mod you. Yeah, maybe I should figure that out. <laughs> It's Mina. Why won't you bro? It's Mina. <laughs> it's not videos. <laughs> That's awesome. The fucking moron. <laughs> if it really was me, might have a different respect. <laughs> we'll block it. Lollipop. Rat candy. Ooh. Chocolate bar. Ooh, talk in his Lollipop. language. Wow. Rat candy. Wow. Chocolate bar. Wow. Let's go to the gathering. I like robot voices and snuff bit ups. <laughs> bit ups. Yeah, I like bit ups. Only the snuff guy. Oh shit, we're already at nine. Oh shit. We got people watching us tonight. What the AEW fuck? must be canceled. Must be. Oh, great, that means we're gonna have the boys on here driving us nuts. It's great! Gold dust high there oh, boys. hey! Hey, Spooky, <laughs> welcome to the sh. Spooky? Oh. It's good to have you here right at the so very beginning uh, of the show. I hear you're back for a uh, another one hour positive vibes, not slim one monologue. What is this? A one hour positive vibes monologue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Still at nine though. Spooky should invite one of his friends. Yeah, right. I'll wait. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna get past that. Subscribe if you like Trump <laughs> and like for Make America Great Again. Yeah, okay, Muay Thai. I'll definitely get right on it. Trump 2020. Four more years. Does that mean the border's gonna be closed for four more years? Uh, well, it's closed for another month anyways. They, uh, they decided today until the 21st of November now. They're going to go month by month. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, I know. That's what they said seven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's one Trump point they did They did go like three months at a time. Oh, see, we did go down. Shit, thanks, Spooky, you fucking... Thanks a lot, Spooky Tuesday. Jerk. Yeah, you beeping jerk. We've gone down. Sometimes, sometimes when Mima gets under my skin, I'm like, beep off. And then she'll persist, and I'm like, fuck, beep. Seven, wow, we're really dropping in the viewers. Maybe AEW was late to start. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe we're going down even more viewers. Wow. I'm crying. I can see that. Fuck it out, here. Remember the game where you push on a crocodile's tooth? No. And then they bite you. No, I don't think it's easy. Chris Jericho is a jabroni. 
he's getting fucking fat and old. Yeah, he's got a weird looking chest. He's a weird looking everything right now. That just looks weird. Yeah, his face looks flattened out from getting hit by chairs. Yeah. You should have Tony sleep on stream to bring in the views. <laughs> Does Tony fall asleep a lot on stream? Yeah, I fucking feel like falling asleep on stream tonight to bring in the views. That was fucking, uh, Roach Bomb. We did a whole intro this week. We haven't done a whole fucking intro oh, wow. in a while. Where's our viewers? right fuck you brooklyn menace and to everybody else what's up you're watching another episode of fuck you brooklyn menace <laughs> fuck you brooklyn menace uh i'm your host not slim one and join with me this week is the ice man the weed dad yeah i was just gonna say the fucking weed dad yeah i you know i saw you reach for it in the thing and then the weed dad really like was like no nah. <laughs> well, you're already up there, and I don't want to seem up. like a fucking asshole. <laughs> you don't have to seem like one. Fresh shirt. <laughs> Thanks, man. My kid got me this for Father's Fresh Day. Fresh shirt. Get the fuck out of here. Who's fucking... Like a regular dad, but more higher. Always smells like weed. See also, awesome, exceptionally good-looking, legendary. That's me. What's up, Legend Young Fox theory. from 618? You. you fucking Twizzler. Young Fox? Ah, not you, he said. He <laughs> meant me. My amazing Jekyll Brothers shirt. No, he was talking about my shirt. We know he was. Okay, let me drink some water and then start getting fucking blasted. It's 804 already, wow. We're running late. Now what are we gonna fucking... We started five minutes early and we ended up four minutes late. Well, I mean, we have been going for well, seven hey, minutes. Our viewers are starting to climb finally. It's about time. Should we start over? <laughs> Maybe. That's right. Fuck you, Brooklyn Menace. And to everybody else, you're watching another episode of Positive that Vibes. Live! Those cut off right at the end. I got all oomph in the front and no back. <laughs> yeah, you got no back in. I am your host, Not Slim One, and joined with me is my extremely old, very frail and fragile, also bald and not that good looking co host, whoa, whoa. The Iceman. I deal with the old What's shit. What's up? <laughs> what up, though? <laughs> We're out here chilling, man, on a fucking Wednesday night at 8.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, that's it, man. We're just chilling out. Regular Wednesday night. Uh, I fucking slept until the last second. Oh, literally. I walked in the door at 7.05 and he was crashed out hard on the on the chair there. And it was a good 30 minutes before he finally fucking opened his eyes and saw me here. Only because my phone made noise. Yeah, I don't even remember the phone waking me up. <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me, but we're doing it. We're doing the show. We're going to do this one hour thing like we do, and then we're going to go watch the Insane Clown Posse House Party Peep Show shoot interview tonight. You are, but I'm going home. No topic is too controversial for yeah. the Insane Clown Posse. I don't believe that. I, I think that they, will dodge, will be they will dodge questions that they don't want to answer. They will. I guarantee it. Oh, Remember when we went to Psychopathic Records I to test play into the Echo Side expansion, Oracle of the Three Rings, and you just straight up ask them how many copies of the game they sold? Yeah. And they're like, we don't really talk about that. that. <laughs> I'm confused every time Blake wears a shirt. I always wonder who is that. Jesus Christ. I thought it was a legitimate question to ask. Do you ever count how many episodes you have done of Positive Vibes? We don't have to count where they're numbered. You well, they them? used no. They oh, used you, you titled them. them. <laughs> Every week you titled them. <laughs> oh no, I thought you went back. Uh, and we used to them. have. I used to incorporate a numbered system into the positive vibes. What up? Brand. Yeah. Okay. But after Lee Halverson, I'm pretty sure after Lee Halverson so generously gifted me the PlayStation here. 4 camera, that it, it coincided with Christmas. So whatever year that was, 
basically like in Free January, Tony. we just started doing like positive vibes live and changed the brand subtly in my mind yeah. in that manner. Yeah, I we guess. went from positive vibes face. to positive vibes live. It's the same show, but it's not because the other show was edited uh, for time, yeah. you know, and content. But this is just live. So, so you figure we at all? How many weeks in a year? Fifty-two weeks. Fifty-two weeks in a year. Fifty-two weeks in a year. You say we take off. Like legitimately, we would say that I you would have done every show that I've done. Love how I. So I would say maybe like what I would maybe take off two, maybe two, maybe two There's shows a year, three and that yeah, and so that's that's five years, right? Hollow Wicked, maybe a Hollow Wicked. I doubt it. Depends yeah. on the day of the week, right? And uh, like a week off for the gathering. No, I did that lame one when you were at the one gathering. I think it was the gathering you went to, and I did oh, that right, one. Oh right, that's home. right. So let's just round down about 52 weeks a year. Yeah, let's we'll say on average boss. I do 50 shows a year okay. then. And well, fuck, years. I've been doing the live shows now for a couple years. So we've, we've, got, we've got at least 250 shows in the bank. Well, if, okay, let's say we never missed a show and we, we started doing them every Wednesday, which isn't true. 50 well, shows if we every 50, Wednesday. Yeah, if we only did 50. And we've been going for five years. I, I'm guessing. I think it's been five years. I don't know. October 2014 to oh. 15. 16, 16 17, 18, 19. 19 20, October six 2020. Years. Six years times, times 50, 50 so shows. So three. Yeah, I guess that makes a, a fair amount of sense. Yep. Around 300 so shows. Around 300 episodes here, guys. And we. And also, to go back and here's another every interesting thing. Fucking one. Here's another really interesting concept. What up? We're here. Up? We're here discussing it, but oh. I bet there's 344. I was just gonna say there's 344 episodes in your Positive Vibes playlist. Some of those episodes, Damn, that's a hot the Positive minute. Vibes playlist is what I was gonna say. Thank you, Spooky. Is you've noticed at that automatically right? Positive Vibes. I never listen. Surprised but face nothing. With Positive Vibes up. playlist probably seen updates everyone. with. I shows that have positive vibes in the name. So there might be like a couple of vlogs that maybe slip through the cracks yeah, that's true. and work their way into that playlist. But yeah. 350 shows, man. That's fucking awesome. Backlund making his debut on here among... Same yeah, he did. That. Yeah, Backlund did make his debut on fucking... Remember when we did that Jared Sorko guy and then he never talked to me again? Never again. I mean, we must have really upset him somehow. Yeah, he like rebranded and then <laughs> stopped fucking yeah. creating content. How fast that. do you we think the jerseys him. will sell out on Black Friday and why the fuck are the t-shirts so goddamn limited like their shirts? That's how they fucking make their they money. spent Tony's commissary money on candy. Big Will is heartbroken. Uh, Big Will's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but, I didn't spend all the money on candy. I'll just say that. I was laughing earlier when you asked me what because Captain Flannel says love how Iceman acts like he is Surprise listening to Blake with Ramble. Eyebrows. <laughs> well, you were because we she did the did math together. Well, I mean, good. I was part of that ramble though. I wasn't just. I mean, when you start going off, I kind of zone out a little bit. Let me ask you a question, okay? okay? If you could ask Insane Clown Posse All any question, money on candy. what would you ask him? Here's what I think what you would ask. Him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this will probably be better. Hey, you girls want to be on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask them that. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Trip these Shoot, dabs up. going to be good. All his money on candy. What did we do while we were setting up the show? Ate candy. We ate candy, didn't we? <laughs> Hell yeah, we yeah. did. It's fucking candy fucking... Uh, Here's some of it right here. Do you guys have this in America? No, they don't have Smarties. Oh, it's too they fucking bad. They don't have bad. Maynard's brand. They don't yeah. have Maynard's brand. They don't have Swedish berries in America. Oh my God, really? Yeah, they said they didn't have I thought that, that was like a Swedish fucking international thing. Something. I mean, Swedish. Yeah, no. The, the Swedish fuck? berries. You guys are like the sweets? The sign of the horns. The candy uh, in luck. America is... Hand making the sign of the horns. Beer mug. Hand making the sign of the horns. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Oh, fuck dab time, eh? I, uh... 
<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I, I took a half of one earlier today at around five o'clock. Candy's so I'm a little fun, bit wired but up candy tonight. flipping okay. is better. We mm -hmm. have real candy. What the fuck are you talking about? We have real candy. Candy's fun, but candy flipping is better. What do you think about that, Iceman? I'd rather just the candy. Not the flip? Nah. What's good about that, right? No, well, the flip is ecstasy. Talking, right? hey, the flip is literally ecstasy. Yeah. So I'm going to go <laughs> out done, on a limb and say what's it. good about that. I, I'm going to say the ecstasy it, though, power. So. Ecstasy or candy flipping? Ecstasy. You never did ecstasy we before? I mean, have a tumultuous, succulent dangerous amount of fucking ecstasy in my life yeah yes, there's ex any ecstasy is dangerous that shit's fucking fucked nah. up what do you mean that fake candy shit what kind of fake candy shit you tell smarties are not fake candy that is a candy coated fucking fake chocolate delicatessen shit. i mean I'm can't you, you right literally there. get smarties cookies at subway uh, i don't know if they're smarties i think they might be chocolate M &M. chip cookies no i think they have m, &M, m, &M cookies are fucking gross yeah, I, I like M and M's, but I don't like them in things very much. I just you know how like the are. like your toe jam has a distinct. Are you gonna say flavor? Not flavor. Okay, like so a I was gonna say I've smell. never tasted my toe jam. Like a distinct so. smell. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you know how like that. Canadian it's like. Candy propaganda. I mean, most armpits and shit smell the same. You know what I'm saying? Bo smells like bo. So I'm assuming that toe jam probably smells. Mine smells similar to yours. Most likely. Yeah. Like, yeah. So okay, so it's like got this like like. Have you ever eaten a bunch of little semi-sweet M&Ms and think that they have like a weird taste or like a weird smell like a fucking no. weird toe jam? Semi-sweet uh, M&Ms? Little tiny little semi-sweet M&Ms and shit. They're fucking awful. Never paid attention. Tastes like gross feet toe jam. I fucking hate it. M&Ms are fucking stupid. And they got peanuts in them. That's fucking stupid. Bootleg like candy. Bootleg like candy. Canadian candy propaganda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got candy. I'm gonna eat candy on the show. <coughs> candy just got some of the best candy around. M and M S. What the duck? You have semi sweet M and M's. What the fuck? Yeah, look it up. Open up a new tab and look up semi sweet M and M's. They're just like tiny little tiny like ice I mean, cream. I've, I've had them before, but I've never really. They just got like even regular M and M's. Just got a weird smell and a weird taste. I eat them. They're good. Eventually, you push past that. Just don't smell and it. And it tastes like chocolate and shit. We got Smarties in the USA, but they're <coughs> sweet tarts. <coughs> yeah, that's gay. We got Smarties in the USA, but they're sweet tarts. Yeah, like the, sweet uh, like tarts the rockets here or, or little rockets. That's what they kind of consider Smarties. No, that's not sweet tarts, is it? No, sweet tarts we is... We have uh, sweet tarts, not sweeties laughing. The fuck are sweeties? I have no idea. Yo, Matt, I'm fucking, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Are you on drugs? I wonder if I've been hanging out in the wrong aisle in America. Maybe I should be in the candy aisle instead of the cereal yeah, aisle. Yeah, stay out of the cereal aisle. Go for the candy, dude. I love dude. the cereal aisle. Can I, I can go to both, right? I can do whatever I want. Yeah, really. but when you go to the cereal aisle, you always walk away with some fucking disgusting shit. I do buy a lot of weird shit when I go to the cereal aisle, but they're all so fucking amazing. Blueberry Smarties Cheerios. Smarties Reese's are the goat candy. You're right. I like Reese's cups. The mm, Reese's awesome. peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut butter cups. I love them. What about the Reese's pieces? They're okay. I don't mind them, but I can only eat so much of those before yeah. I start getting sick of them. What about My, Reese's? I ain't fucking no eating. What team, about man. Reese's pieces pieces in a Reese's pieces peanut butter cup? That's pretty good. Those Skittles are really yeah, good. Those are good. I like you get the little candy. crunch of yeah. the fucking little <laughs> It really adds Reese's. to the whole flavor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Skittles. I used to love Skittles, but I, I don't Skittles know, Skittles are all right, but I'm too fat and I can't enjoy one at a time. Yeah, I've just got to be a handful, right? And Reese's then it's like a muddled kind of... <laughs> it's like just... Just becomes like sugar. Yeah, more or less. I am unsubscribing you, fat trash. Bag. Good, get the fuck out of here, Muay Thai. Why don't you sign up another account, okay? Subscribe with that, and then fucking unsubscribe with it. I literally don't give a fuck. Fuck you, Matt Fema. What are you trying to say? Yeah, fuck you, Matt Fema. Oh, he's saying yeah. they're the goat. Oh, okay. greatest of all time. Oh, it's a goat. Okay, I thought it was a dog. Hey, he says Reese's uh, Cup for right. the goat. I'm with you, Matt. But you, Muay Thai, what the fuck? Yeah, Muay Thai, unsubscribe and leave. No, I, I mean, I agree with you. Fat trash. What about the unsubscribe and leave part? Well, I mean, that's up to him. <laughs> You're a fucking dummy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to hurt me one way or the other, right? 
I guess. We'll still we'll, we'll still have 20 viewers. I'm sure even if you unsubscribe, it'll still say snuff film shit yeah, that's in the true. chat. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you'll unsubscribe, but you'll still tune in every fucking week because we are your guilty fucking pleasure. Oh, man, that fucking dab hit me pretty good in the chest. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so we did our last camping trip this past weekend, last camping trip of the year. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about my camper. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, I, we had a pretty good time. It was a bit chilly. My my furnace is is a little fucked up. I gotta get that looked into. Blake, but it was working. How is your pop? Go ahead. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 you know kind of depressed now that we have to winterize the campers and put them away for the year. Yeah. I That's, mean, I gotta do that what is week. winterizing the camper? You just can't shit in it. You can still turn your electric heat on. I guess and go I could fucking still... chill in it. Yeah, and... but I'm I'm not gonna keep it at my house though. I'm gonna take it to work and leave it there. I'd love to leave it at my house, but it'll cause too much of a fucking drift problem in my driveway. Yeah, time. probably. I guess you're I know right. it will. Just having two regular vehicles in the driveway causes some shit. <coughs> How is Pop? Your mom sent me a picture of him today. He's looking yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, he looks all right. We, yeah. uh, well, as everybody knows, we put my dad in a home, basically, uh, a couple days before Father's Day. And then COVID made things, like, complicated in the sense that nobody wanted to have to do COVID tests to go see my dad for a half an hour. It was all fucked up and shit sucked. So then anyway, fast forward to just a couple weeks ago. Now we can go and pick them up. We just have to call up, make the appointment that on the date that we want to come. You know, I said, I'm going to be here at this time, at this day. And they said, okay, no do they, problem. Do they give you a time frame still that you're nope. allowed? No, oh, wow, I just went cool. there. I picked them up. I could go pick them up at noon and keep them all day if I wanted to. That's cool. But, uh, so uh, for Canadian Thanksgiving, like two weekends ago. Me and my mom went, my mom went and picked up my dad and then we all met up at a restaurant and we had some food and it was like, you know, it was good. It was bittersweet. I didn't see my dad for a long time. So it was like attitude is a little different. I want to keep saying stoic, but stoic like seems to imply sadness, right? No, stoic to me is, is a brave thing. I think. No, stoic isn't brave. It's fucking like having a stoic look well, on your gonna face. We're going to fucking look it up. Stoic, stoic is more. definition. It's more like sad. A person who can endure pain or hardships without showing their feelings or complaining. A member of the ancient philosophical school of Stoicism, whatever. So a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. To me, that's kind of like a brave kind of thing. <coughs> well, my dad's sitting there anyway. He just, like, he has this... You, this is what I'm trying to say about my dad, stoic okay. or not. <coughs> he, he Excuse me. Not. He is looking good. He is He's talking, good. you know, you talk to him, he talks back. He's a little confused when he talks. That's what he was when we put him in there. But he has, like, this look on his face, like, where he's just, like, staring ahead. And he doesn't, like, look. See, I call that the institutionalized look. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to sound negative now. Oh, that's not my intention with like, my description. Like it's, like, it's not. It's not a depression or a sadness. It's. It's around. not anything really. My it's just. This is my life. You know, it's just, just that. And that's it. Basically. Up, so I'll have to check back later. Be happy you even have a fucking union. So we saw him on that Thanksgiving weekend. And he was upset that I didn't take a couple of his phone calls. The title caught somebody. So yeah. Uh, he was upset that I didn't take a couple of his phone calls. But I was like, look, we're here together now, right? So it's all good. Like, we don't have to be on the past that we didn't talk to each other. We can enjoy that we're together now. And then after that visit on Sunday, I told him I would call him Wednesday to get together. Yeah. I hit him up. We got together last Sunday. We went out for fish. And it was just like just me and Mima without my mom and and also my dad. Yeah. He forgot and, the uh, we just went and got some halibut. Zero. And we chilled out for a bit and then we went to the store and we got some candy. Right on. And then I took him back to the place. How's he moving around and stuff? Is he Well, he's having a hard time getting in and out of the vehicle. Especially I think Mima's gonna be car? out of town this weekend oh, and I'm gonna go there in my truck, so 
I'm going to have to bring the step stool so that he can yeah. help get himself up a bit into that whip. That's a good idea. And then I'll have to go see him this weekend sometime. I don't know when. But he's looking all right, but he just, like, he's not driving any conversation. And what I was saying earlier is that I don't want to sound negative because it's not my intention, but he Why just looks like a product. To sell the well? Looks like a product of an industry, the nursing home industry. And he just fucking sits there and looks forward and doesn't speak unless spoken to. <coughs> and I'm talking to the nurses, and they're like, he seems happy. Like, he seems happy. He doesn't talk a lot, and... You know, I'm like, you guys, he, you have to talk to him, he to won't fish talk, shop and says, unless he's spoken to, good you know morning, what I mean? ladies. And they say that he doesn't, like, talk to other people and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I don't know how many people are in there, but, like, he's Name gotta make the show friends, is normally you know I mean? random. Or at least talk to people. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said he only them. watches a little bit of TV every day. And I think it's because he doesn't like the TV that is available to watch. So I'm trying to determine... What is the simplest method to get a whole bunch of old pirated movies on a thing for a, him to watch? In a way that he'll understand to be able to watch it. Or at least the simplest way to make a he nurse there be understand it. Blake it Jordan always seemed like a busy body to me. He always working or tinkering. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he, yeah, he is. Well, he even was the that last, way at the house. even the last while at the house because he couldn't do a lot. Like he tried as much as he could to get outside as often as he could to to tinker around and do stuff. But even you know, but the last few weeks beforehand, he just wasn't <coughs> able to do that stuff. And you could tell that that alone was really fucking eating at him. Oh, I told him all the time. I'm like, you know, you gotta fucking go out in the garage and keep busy. Go out there and work. Just well, yeah, do but things but that I'm don't saying, involve power tools. But I'm know? saying the last couple of weeks there, he just was in no shape. Months, months. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not even the want though. No, he was in no physical shape. Like, <laughs> like, look at those nights we had to help him into bed and stuff. Like, he was in no physical shape to be able to go outside and do stuff. Yeah, and we had to push him into the fucking car to get into the car. Yeah. Which I thought would be an easier and thing to get done. And that alone has got to kill him because he's always been so independent, right? Yeah. Left my foot. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. And then he's like, and then he said over dinner, he's like, I don't want to die at this place. That's the problem, Matt, explaining it how to use it. That wouldn't be easy. Yeah. And then he said at dinner, Iceman, Brooklyn, he said, what up? at dinner, he said, I don't want to die at this place. And I'm like, I don't even know how to react to that. You know? Yeah. And then he's like, I know where all the exits are in that on. building. I'm like, bro, you get can't even get into a car. What are you going to do, run? Are you going to run away? <laughs> the people that you're running away from will literally just walk up to you. And turn you around. Yeah, like classic plop, old plop people. Plop you in Yeah. All right, Don, let's go back in, eh? Yeah. So I feel really bad. Like, uh, it seems That's a good like, one, Captain. It seems like he portrays that he doesn't understand that he's going to be there forever. It's hard, but I don't like... You know, I explained it to him over dinner too. I'm like, you know, Dad, you're here because we can't take care of you. You know what I mean? Like, we're not equipped for that. He didn't react. You know, he's just. I said what I had to say, and he just kept the same look on his face, You'll unmoved. Be and, people break yeah. out of nursing home now, actually. Oh, it does happen a lot. I, I I hear about it happening on occasion. Get him a pet here. stick bug. That's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> What about so. models or something he could work <clears throat> on? He just doesn't have any interest in anything. Like, he won't do none of that shit. He'll probably sit and do a bunch of crossword puzzles. Yeah, he does like his crosswords. That's How it, is really. your mom with him being there? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm sure she's got her own set of emotions about it. We, uh... Get out there, scrapping boy. Fuck you, Josh. Yeah, I got a bunch of scrap in the yard. Too. Hey, Ice, have I had more scrap in the yard load right now than ever before? Yeah, you're turning into a scrapyard. Hell yeah. I got a bunch of copper and aluminum outside. Starting to worry he's going to get evicted if he keeps piling the shit me, up right I there. think about it every day. Bro. I think about it every day. <laughs> me too. Every time I pull up, I'm like, fuck. Then I brought those bricks and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah when I saw those, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> My buddy fucking was changing up this guy's house and 
Head like to hear so I'm buying a new stove. I finally got fed up with my gas range. I, I cannot stand cooking on gas. I've hated it since day one, and I hate the fucking cleanup of the stove because there's so many fucking individual parts you got to take off, and I just want something. Take easy. off, eh? Okay, so, so my dad recently, and I've always wanted to go this road, but my dad recently bought a uh, one of the flat cooktops, ceramic top, and I'm like, fuck, now I'm jealous. I want one so bad because they're just so easy to clean. So when I was at his place on Thanksgiving, we were talking about it, and I was asking him how much he paid for his, a lot more than I expected. And I said, well, I'm, you know, I'm just looking for a used one. I got a, a few hundred put away that I'm, I'm trying to try and find a decent, good used one. He said, well, I'll look out for you. I'll, I'll go check out a few of the used appliance stores, because at least that way you know you're getting it refurbished and stuff, and I'll see if they got any good deals. A few days later, actually Monday, he hits me up, and he's like... Um, yeah, no, I, I gave up. There's nothing good out there in the used fucking stores is all. He says, so well, let's just go get a new one. You pay half with what you got, and I'll pay half for your Christmas and your birthday. We'll split it. So I'm like, that's fucking great. Awesome. But then I'm like, I, I thought to myself, well, it's a gas stove there. Has it always been a gas stove? Is there even an electric hookup? So I had to rush home that day because he was meeting me back in Essex to go look at a few stoves. <coughs> Uh, so I had to rush home after work and take a look and I look behind and sure enough there's a box there I'm like okay that's good I didn't look at it any further and then uh, when we got back to the house after finding a stove we pulled the stove out and there's a box there but it had a fucking cover on it so the plug was taken off why was the fucking plug taken off because the dumbass who set everything up when they put the addition on the house at the other end and put the laundry down there they ran a fucking wire from the dryer plug all the way under up to the plug stove and hooked it up to the fucking stove plug not easy to and clean. left it like that. So like an extension? So the dryer is not on its own breaker and the stove is not on its own breaker. Now I got both of these running on the same fucking breaker. I won't be able to do laundry and run the oven at the same time. That'll be funny when you forget. Oh, it, it's, it's going to happen often. <laughs> it will. <laughs> I mean, I pop the breaker between the microwave and the toaster Captain all Flannel. the time. Captain Flannel with the, the, with the disagreement, with the standard disagreement in the chat. He's like... Flat tops are actually not easy to clean. <laughs> they are if you fucking clean them right away. You spill something, fucking clean it up, man. Yeah, it's man. Not like, <laughs> come on, man. It's not like fucking my gas one where I've got, a, 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 you know, the thing on top and then there's a thing underneath that sitting on top of the burners and, and I got this other grill over here and they're all interconnected. I got to fucking move everything just to clean one fucking <coughs> thing. It's insane. And I mean, to be honest with you, I've let it go inches. lately and I should do a video about this because this fucking surprised me. I'm going to tell you guys all the trick right now. I have got... I said, advice. Yo, are you a fucking stupid, retarded person that... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No, no. no okay. I'll wait. I'll okay, wait. Okay. Don't start yet. I hope you're still out there, Bucky. Sucks you too, <coughs> KJ. Are you a fucking stupid, retarded person that doesn't know how to do anything with their lives and... And you gotta fucking come on the internet once a week and, and watch two reasonably good looking oh, men. I've upgraded. Uh, well, it's average, right? <laughs> one good looking, one not good looking. <laughs> makes one average looking guy. Thanks for um, uh, straightening that I'm up. I'm the average me. looking guy. You're bringing me down. Uh, are you being brought down by old men that don't fucking even give a shit about how good you look? <laughs> <clears throat> Um, are you so completely out of control with your life that you rely on a geriatric fuck to tell you what to do? Lazy slob. Yeah, then fucking sit down, you fucking lazy slob. I'm sure you already are. And fucking strap that gun <clears throat> right into fucking place. And fucking get ready to have your fucking wigs pushed all the way back. When we fucking get bukkake this week with a little bit of ice... Oh, advice. You gotta leave that fucking moan out. <laughs> you know <what>? Go, <laughs> go ahead, Ice Man. All right, so I'm gonna give you some advice on, on how to fucking clean with the most unexpected cleaning agent that you've ever heard of. Now, this cleaning agent is, is something piss? that we have been putting. What? Is it piss? No. This cleaning agent is something that we have been putting into our bodies for centuries. And we didn't even know it. So we have been, we have been, what do they call it when, when you're talking about drinking the chlorine and stuff? You know, we're, we're cleaning out our systems with a fucking a disinfectant. This, this stuff is amazing. Maybe not disinfectant, but. So the other day, not the other day, a while back there, I let my stove get pretty fucking gungy and greasy because I hate fucking cleaning it. I'm fucking tired of it. And I decided I was going to get a new one anyways. 
But I was there, I was pouring some milk and I was having some uh, toast and peanut butter and you know, pouring a glass of milk and I accidentally knocked the glass and some milk spilled out onto the stove, onto this gungy, greasy fucking stove. Can I have your flashlight? So, so I grabbed, uh, I, I grabbed a paper towel to clean the, the fucking shit off of there. And when I cleaned off the milk, the fucking grease came right fucking off. I got some more milk onto an, onto a, the piece of uh, paper towel that I had, and I fucking wiped a whole section clean as a fucking whistle. Maybe I had to put just a little bit of elbow, but I mean, I wasn't scrubbing nothing. I, I just literally fucking wiped it right off. So, I mean, like, here's the thing now. Milk that we've been putting in our bodies has, has just cleaned grease right off my fucking stove. Now, I haven't tried it on, like, say, a barbecue grill or anything. But, I mean, like, this convinces me that this shit's going to clean. So, I mean, the, my advice to you is just watch out because you never know what you're going to find when you start fucking spilling shit around your house. So, I guess that's my advice. Clean that that, that and clean your stove with some fucking milk. Clean your stove with milk. It is your advice worked, this week? Yeah, okay. it must have worked. It made you I'm, reach I'm your high you. boys. <laughs> I'm telling you, I should, right I should make a fucking video about it. It's amazing how well it cleaned. And right now, my stove is filthy enough to uh, to to give a good demonstration. Please make a video of you dumping milk on your dirty stove. That seems like a Tony thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna just dump milk on. Go it. home and put your phone in the microwave. Okay. Is that gonna charge it? <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah, instantly charge. Instant charge. Five seconds. Five seconds at a time. So clean your milk. Clean your stove with milk. Yeah. And, and stop drinking milk because it's fucking. What's it doing to the inside of our goddamn body? And well, if fucking... I drink a bunch of milk, okay. Here, hear this. If I drink I like it... a bunch of milk and then like go to bed, like ice cream or yep. milk, it doesn't matter. It's not the sugar. It's the milk. If I drink like or eat a bunch of milk and then fucking go to... Bed right away? I'll get diarrhea. So the milk cleans me guess, out because I, I got so. diarrhea. I guess maybe it's a good thing. There you go. Use milk to clean out your system. Ice. Get rid of that COVID. <laughs> Advice. <laughs> milk kills COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Trump's going to tweet that now. Wow. Roxy, what up, Cali Gaming? Whoop, whoop. What up, Roxy Riddlebox? Yeah, Coca-Cola, though. I mean, that's something you would expect to eat away at shit, right? But milk, I'm telling you, I just fucking spilt some on my stove, and it cleaned the grease right up. I don't have no clue. I, I could take some Windex and shit and other Roxy cleaners, G and I would have to fucking life. clean at it. What up, Roxy G in real life? But milk, fucking, maybe it's Canadian milk. Who knows? Maybe our Canadian milk is a little stronger than your shit. <laughs> Iceman, can you still swallow whole hot dogs? Uh, I haven't tried since that day. You probably could, right? I mean, maybe. Uh, round hole, round peg. Remember when I told you all yeah. about it? I was mentoring you. He sent me a video of a guy trying to do it, and he did yeah, the first the one. Guy, no problem. Those things were fucking huge, though, man. The guy with the glasses and the bandana? Uh, I don't think so. I don't remember what he looked like. What's the popular hot dog hey, swallow I guy? No, this is a guy that tried for his first time. He'd never tried it before. He just decided to Oh, okay. So the first one went down, no problem. He's like, oh, my God, I fucking did it. Like I did the first time, like oh my god, it yeah. fucking went down. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he tried the second one, got it down here, and then blew up, and did that three so times. He put that one aside. He did another one a few times. So Roxy Riddle Box, Roxy, what Captain. up? But yeah, no, I haven't swallowed any hot dogs since that day. I don't. I mean, I really hurt my esophagus, <clears> my, <throat> my fucking whole thing. That was bruised. Remember for a when I days. swallowed that little chunk of banana and I? Sp I, like, bruised my esophagus yeah. for, like, a fucking week. It was really hard to swallow. Yeah. I didn't like it. It was, like, a clicking in the back of my Just throat. Just kicking some positive vibes on a hump day. Oh, hell yeah, Josh, man. That's a good <laughs> suggestion, too, about talking to my dad about scrap and money. I will talk to him about that. So get this one. I stopped by my neighbors tonight after work to talk to him, and it turns out that uh, his yeah. job and many other employers are being told to do this by the government, and I guess... It sounds like it's going to become a widespread thing. They had to fill out forms, giving personal information, COVID name, checks, address, COVID checks. Mima has to do. Personal. Mima has to do too. Yeah, I, she I gets she gets a text before her fucking shift. Cause this guy, he gets a text in the morning saying, no, uh, no, "I basically you don't pay attention and do you, to anything." And do you have a fever? Yeah. And he says, "No," and I'm feeling good. And then they say, "Okay, you can go to work." So you're fucking getting permission to go to work now. It'll happen to you. What the fuck is going on here? Everybody's scared, bro, of everything. Oh my the god! Never open. Fuck. You know, all the government ever has to say to to make people comply is for your safety. We're doing this for your safety. Yeah, uh, it's the law. 
But when it's not. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that at all, okay? Well, it was, it was all my fucking mind. Sorry, because this fucking happened just a couple hours yeah, ago. Yeah, that has to happen to Mima. She's been talking about it. I mean, the, the, to, like, and, and if he doesn't day. answer the You're text messages, they call his work and say, this person hasn't finished his screening. Do not allow him into work until he does. Stuff. My neighbor does it and even owns his house in Stilha County. Uh, honestly, Bucky, I appreciate you saying that because of all the crazy past that you're probably aware of. But I worry uh, about it too, Bucky. Shut up, Iceman. I do. But it's not that bad. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the uh, excuse or justification for the for the move. Ninety percent of the metal that's on the side of the house all came from the neighbor, the behind backyard box. Yeah character yeah, here yeah. on the show but if you all know or remember backyard bobby he moved away you would have only seen him My on the blog maybe yeah or maybe some live streams but he moved away in june and the people started making over the new place uh or started making over the place new again so i got all the eaves trough and a bunch of metal from that place so i was waiting for them to finish that job before I took the metal that I have in in anticipation of more metal. I don't want to yeah. wear a stupid And then instead of getting more metal from them, I actually anymore. fucking... You see all that copper I got? Yeah. Yeah, I was just sitting That's on the dope. side of the road. I had to run uptown and then come back. I was lucky yeah. that somebody didn't take it. So I do got a couple bucks, not much, and scrap on the yeah, side of the Yeah, me too, right Roxy. Now. I'm so fucking tired of wearing the mask. But you know what? I'm just going to continue Shit to Matt. fucking do it to shut people up and just, I mean, whatever. Matt says that his kids' school closed. Yeah, I saw that too for. Uh, the rest Shit of the is week. fucking dumb. I feel like, honestly, this is how I feel right now. Just a quick side note about my feelings, my personal feelings. I feel so high. I got really high. It's oh, well, let me diverge that topic too. Okay. okay. <laughs> <coughs> Happy birthday, Ross Questenberry! You're 32 Ross years TV. old today. I know you took the goddamn day off of work because we chilled the fuck out on the internet. And you and your fucking little tiny so you your fucking skeleton hands creep me the fuck out. Yeah. And we love you, Ross, here at the Not Slim One channel. You're my, one of my best friends. You're my best friend, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so I got really high today on the internet with Ross. So high that I passed out on the chair. You walked in the house right past me. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, you had no idea. And uh, and I slept. So I was too high. Yeah, snoring away. I had to get that. Could have robbed the place. I had to get that dab sleep in. Blake, when will you be doing something about that hair? Thank you. <laughs> Anakin, JJL, right. Juggernauty, Bender Boy, Happy Diamond Fox. Boy. It's a very fucking unique name. Josh. Making a comeback soon, relieved face. So anyway, happy right birthday. On, Here, I remember what I was saying. So happy birthday, Splossy Boy. I love you, buddy. And then I got extremely high, so I passed the fuck out. Yeah. And then we, and then you came here, blah, blah, blah. Now we're doing this show. Uh, we got 15 minutes left of this show. I smoked one dab on it, and I rolled a dab up on the stick while you were doing Ice Advice, thinking, I'm going to smoke this. And then you finished Ice Advice before I could. And now I'm still looking at it, thinking, if I smoke this, I'm just going to fucking pass right the fuck Poor back guy. out. Yeah, before I get to watch the ICP fucking peep show party. I, I think that's going to happen anyway. And I'm going to have company and shit pop by, so I think I'm going to bitch out on the show, on the live show. And personally not smoke another dab right now on the show. I'm going to wait until after the house party starts. You want the dab? Sure, that's what I'm getting at right here. <laughs> yeah, I got to fucking slow down for a minute, I think, so that I can stay awake. I I've don't got the post... extra little in me tonight, so I'm good to go. In 15 minutes. I go. felt... 27 more dabs, Blake, you're, or you're a coward. Oh, we already know he's a coward. That uh, was Roxy Riddlebox that said that yeah. in, in 15, 27 dabs in 15 minutes. This seems heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we got 19 minutes. If the free wood is still at the place, that's crazy, that'd be 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, if the free wood is still at the place, do you want to go out there on if Saturday? If he's here, I would. Uh, you yeah, want to take sure. a random drive out there and see what's up? Yeah. 
I figured the best place to put it probably would be... How many grams of dabs you smoke a week, Blake? I would say... I would say... That my consumption varies based on... Specific variables yeah, that I can't variables. attribute because I don't know what they are. But, I would say on average, probably good to smoke... A full gram of dabs. Also, we got weed in the mix. Yeah. I'd say I'd smoke a gram of dabs maybe every three or four days. I'd say three. Three days, Pushing yeah. four maybe, but definitely three. Three or four days, probably closer to three days. A, a gram every three days. And that's like, you know, sharing it with everybody and... Plus and the that. weed. Uh, yeah, and cutting it with weed with too. With pubes? Yeah, with pubes. I cut it with pubes. I cut my dabs with pubes. So I fucking <laughs> go online one day a couple weeks ago. It was like early in the morning or late at night. I don't know. And I'm just smoking dabs. And I got the fucking microscope magnifier hooked up. Yeah. So I just pull the dabs out. And I'm just looking at the dabs under the microscope. And then little flecks of like black... It was probably like realistically, it looked like it was probably like a fabric. Okay. I don't know why there would be fabric in the dabs, but we're talking about like so yeah, and I was so gonna say, so small. Like you're gonna get it. you're gonna get stuff, just regular stuff in the dabs, not fabric, but plant material. There's gonna be some. And so everybody thought it was pubes. Of course. They just, they just wanted it to be pubes. So, That's yeah. Awesome. So now they think I'm fucking smoking pubes all the fucking time. And... Really? I thought it was because somebody saw you rolling it up pubes. in your joint. No, Again. that's Fat Jesus. Remember Again. when Fat... Or no, he didn't smoke the pubes. He ate them on a hot dog. Uh, have you he considered his pubes running yeah, I do the remember coolest that, yeah. Jigalo there is contest? Anakin, and JJ, by the way, the second to the last, last says, second left poster is crooked. Have you considered running for the coolest Juggalo there is contest? And by the way... The second to last, last second left poster is crooked. The second to last, last second left. Second to last, last second left. So what is so, this? This is right? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, that's, no. yeah, that's right. This is left. To well, that right. Am I pointing? Am I pointing? Like, do they mean to your left? Well, which one is crooked? How about that? Does that does he... <laughs> yeah, name the poster. The, and the, by well, the way, the second to game? the last, last <clears throat> second. <laughs> what? Second to the last, last second left poster <sighs> is crooked. Thanks. I mean, every time I move my head, some look crooked in a different way, but they're not. Well, deal with it. Deal with it. Unless he's talking about the one right above my head here, maybe. The Ike one. Oh, it's the ICP one? Oh, thanks, oh. man. You're I'll lot, fix it after of, the show. You're what a, a lot fucking of idiot. The ICP <laughs> one. Yeah, I do think Jesus it's the one above my head Christ. right here. If anything. How clever. <laughs> oh, <man>. <coughs> <coughs> fucking Bender Boys. Yeah, uh, fucking Diamond, Diamond Fox. JJL Diamond Fox. I liked it when it was just Anakin Skywalker better. The Anakin Skywalker account is always friendly to me, so whether it's a troll or not, or genuine or not, I, I like seen that account. I like the Anakin Skywalker account. It's yeah. very kind. Well, that to one's me. obviously Mima. Have Who you else considered is be running kind? for the coolest Juggalo there is contest? See, it sounds like a troll, but, yeah. I, you know, yeah, I have thought about it, actually. <laughs> I mean, you just got trolled big time there. I wanted to enter the Miss Juggalette pageant at no, the gathering. No, you didn't. You didn't want to enter that. To be the most popular juggalo there is. If you say so. But what you up? To enter that. What up, Danny boy? Danny boy, what up? We out here chilling, man. I'm high as fuck on the show. Are you Makes out me here? Feel tired. Yeah, I'm you pretty. You ready to watch up. this shoot interview? I'm pretty fucking. Yo, right let's now. speculate a little bit in the chat with West this fucking Coast thing. West Coast Tony. West Coast Tony. What up, West Coast Tony? Yo, uh, what is gonna be? Let's speculate. What kind of questions are gonna be asked? 
in the shoot interview tonight. You guys start speculating. Canadians are all right, I guess. What's up, Danny? Boy! Canadians are the best. Where the fuck is my phone? We're more American bald eagle than you are. I don't even know what that means. Lane I, don't know. I just thought it sounded I hope say. they ask the Twizzler questions we all want. <laughs> well, I'll be out there and start what asking. What are those Man. questions? Here's my phone. What are Shoot those questions exactly? I mean, now I want to watch. Because if that's going to happen. JL, Juggernauty, Bender Boy, Diamond Fox. What are the Twizzler questions? Uh. Ask shit about Twizzler. Iceman, you certainly are. Put your you twisted <laughs> questions. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Put <laughs> your twisted you questions recognize. in the chat right now. Kind of a chubby one, but it's still a bald eagle. Danny is literally a hairy sloth. <laughs> what up, do Josh? What up, do Josh? You speak it, Roxy. Gemstone. Gemstone. Oh, hell yeah. It's a gemstone kind of night. Yes. What? Visit me. Wook sloth. <laughs> Wook sloth. Wook. Astonished face. Know. Yeah, well, I don't know what a wook is either. Maybe I heard Danny wookie. Boy saying it a bunch. Uh, it's not wookies. I'm not sure. I think it has something Wakala. to do with music. Wakala. Green heart. Purple well, uh, heart. Danny Boy, yeah, he was like talking about moving in with a bunch of wooks at a fucking compound. Oh, really? Or a commune at Wakala. a fucking festival ground. That sounds interesting. You want to go live with like a bunch of deadheads or something at a fucking, at Nelson Ledges. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm moving in with the Wooks, <laughs> and, I, and I still don't know if it's a racist term or Josh. what. I don't know what it means. I have no I idea what no it means. I'm gonna be a real is. fucking asshole and right now. I have no idea. Hand making the sign of the horns. Beer mug. Hand making the Danny sign of the horns. Danny Boyce's definition of Wook, Josh Vaughn. Beer mug. Wooks are woke motherfuckers, hippies from the ledges. Wook is so this a is a real thing. Cookie. Yeah, it is have a real a thing. Man. They actually live at Nelson Ledges. I Push guess. Push the little daisies and make them come up. I wonder if it's people who own Nelson Ledges. Maybe they're the Wooks. Yeah, I bet. I bet Nelson Ledges is fucking run by Wooks. How else would they take over? You right? Yeah, they live there. Okay, cool. So it's not just. Uh... Yeah, but I never believe anything this fucking guy tells me. Who's Steel City Dom? Terror Reels, yeah. He's always full of shit. Yeah. There's yeah, a bunch you wonder of where he gets his facts. He ain't reading the ledges. That's for sure. A good question would be, hey guys, do you consider Twisted a current part of Jigalo culture? See, now Green that is an excellently worded too. question. They work during the events and that's how they make their rent. Ween kids are books too. They work during the events and that's how they make their rent. Yeah, that seems fresh. And well, selling sure. a lot so of drugs. So they're like, like carnies basically. I was just going to say, yeah, a lot like carnies, but they're in one spot. Yeah, they don't move. Well, I kind of like that idea, too. Danny boy, I'm fucking Me and the Iceman had an idea of while we were camping uh, on the weekend. Loud the camping. part of the show has really lost Yeah, party, energy. like a party camp. Party you know? camp. The party zone. Where you can, you can fucking go and make noise and have a good time. I mean, we had a great time regardless. Yeah, we, we had our music and stuff, but where you can just go and fucking just party. No. That would be See, a dope. Yeah, you know, when I, or even I think a campground that does that like maybe one one week out of a Touch month or out of the summer or, or something. Sail Brown Bay to chocolate Just, town and this pick. week, everybody that's here, we're here to fucking party. I it's hard, to, it's it's hard like to do that when you can't even have fucking visitors at that fucking yeah, one place. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Why are you Touch my tutor or Sail Brown Bay to chocolate town. Yo, you pick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a commune. Kind of like a commune, I guess. I could deal with that. I'd live in that fucking work festivals and get high all the time. What's wrong with that? You probably deal with a lot of stinky chicks. There's a probably. few communes in Kansas and Missouri. 
I'm sure there's communes all over the United States, just like there's militias right across the United States. Some of those communes are actually militias. Which I'm not saying is wrong. I think that's fucking awesome. I wish Canadians would be able to put some Canadians around here that I can do. I'm going to start a commune in Colorado just for jugglers and make everybody <laughs> take shots. Well, nobody's going to show up, Roxy. I mean, Hands you'll get a few of us, together. but I'll be there for Hands sure. This together. guy won't. Hands pressed together. Rob Bowling, what, what up? up? Boys? When I read Rob Bowling, I think, man, I can't wait to fucking fly to Albuquerque with Rob Candy and meet up with Ross. Our feet. Yeah. Okay, sounds good, Roxy, but I refuse the shower thing, though. That's the Ooh, fucking main part of it. Want to smell good? Hey, I'm with you, Roxy. I am. I'll shower every freaking day. But I, I know a lot mark? of people who won't. Can we be group showers? Group showers? I'd be kind of dope. I guess. Like a gas chamber, but water? <laughs> Like, you just Blake, had to put that kind of spin on it. Well, then they put them in showers and then just run the gas through the shower lines or something? I don't know. I don't know how it went down. I didn't read all about it all It went that down shit. crazy. <laughs> I guess Take it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Faygo showers. Now, that would be nice. Imagine if you were forced to fucking wash your body in Fago Let's diet, Fago root beer. No sugar. That would be horrible. Dude, I don't care what you say, you still feel God. it on you. I'll start right now. Delicious fucking... It'll be like Waco, but showers. It'll be like Waco, yeah, but I showers? Am. I'm in! <laughs> I'm in! <laughs> Let's do this! We all get the same little shower get shoes. In. Eh? <laughs> we all get the same little shower shoes and shit. <laughs> I'm in, Roxy. Let's fucking do this. Get in. I'll be your right hand. <laughs> yeah, I love that idea, Roxy. Great. It'll be like wake up and shower. Remember Wait, who said when Matt Tony Simpson? said he would Fago shower but didn't? Tony probably says a lot of things that he don't do. Yay. I don't want to... I don't Even remember saying that. Even though I walked through, through the darkest day. valley... I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. Come on, do we have to do that? Me. Purple heart. His rod Green and my heart. staff? <laughs> hey <-o! laughs> See, and they're putting a new roof over the stage at Red Rocks. I don't know what that is. About that. Be pimping like David Karrash. Hell yeah, Ross. he was pimping that man. Pimping like David Karrash. Was people think I got bags in my locker? <laughs> Dog looks terrified tonight. We got six minutes left on this show, man. We're just gonna fucking chill with it. Rod and <laughs> Staff and posted here. ball picks. So what's everyone else doing in Tav Fun? These days, anyone going to any shows or anything at all? No, I answer for the entire internet. Nobody's Look doing anything. Well, I mean, there there's Rocks still shows going on out fear. there. <laughs> Look up the venue, Red Rocks, or live in fear. He says, <laughs> "Spooky." I don't want to, man. That's work. Remember the, the ad, remember the ad that uh, excuse me. Remember the news going article that we just start put out a little while ago about how like they're doing limited rollout there invitation was a show only Saturday for people to the, the casino. Yeah. In yeah, to uh, the high rollers it was basically fun as gonna fun. invite all the them. people that makes money. And the only slots. The only opening the slots. High, who's a high the slot gaze. high roller? There are some Needed people it. out there that spend fucking tons of cash on I those things. I did security at an outdoor festival in Delaware last week. Oh, is that where you got the whips and the fucking Indian? Because that sounds dope. See? Festival. I want to go to a festival. I mean, we live in Canada. That's why we ain't doing nothing. We, ain't, oh, okay. we live in this section of Canada, which is why we ain't doing... There's never anything to do around here. <coughs> camper Without, time. Okay. We'll wrap up the show with the camper then. You okay. got Because I'm about to do it. Oh, yeah, you got go anything ahead. to say? No, go ahead. Talk okay. about the camper. So, as you may or may not know, I fucking had some water issues with the camper. So, I took the camper to yeah, it was fashion, uh, a place that fixes trailers. And I said, here's my budget. Let's work within the confines of it so that we can fix the issue. Because I need my camper to be dry. Essentially, no matter how much money, basically... 
I would pay to get the camper fixed would still be cheaper overall than to make any type of investment or consideration of a new camper. Boom. So they're like, okay, bring the camper by. We'll do our inspection. We'll see what's up. So blah, 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 blah. I take the camper there, and the fucking same day that I take the camper there, they hit me up at the end of the night, uh, like at the end of their day around 4.30. They they're like, yo, uh, your camper Valley. is what we would deem not road worthy. And so would, would they have even let you tow it back off the lot at that, that point? That is spooky. I'm not sure what they would have <laughs> did there. I can't, I don't know if we talked about it or not. Yeah. But I was just like, well, I need the camper to be safe, so fix God the equalizers. Seven hundred and fifty fucking dollars. But uh, they okay, said safe. so. Okay, to make it a really short story, uh, when I went there to see him the other day to talk about how we proceed after the inspection has occurred, yeah. he goes, "Bro, I'm not kidding you. I put the camper on the hoist and lifted it up, and the axles." Fell off of the fucking camper. <laughs> I was fucking. I was like, like bro, like I you drove this... it there, man. Like that, you drove it there. Like bro, that. I told him, bro, I pulled this thing to like Oklahoma City <laughs> and shit. Who knows how long it was broken? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who knows? I don't yeah. know. Hand making the sign Holy with the fuck. horns. So they fucking the did. Uh, Legend Valley was a dope fucking yeah, venue. Jerry I really liked it there. They did. Uh, Next week, a story about camper being condemned. So anyway, they fixed the equalizers on the camper, and then I went there to talk to them about some shit about the inspection. Uh, basically, my propane tank regulators are shot and need to be removed and replaced. So I cannot prioritize that financially and have decided to cap all the gas lines. They he went in where I it. put my electric-only fridge, they pulled out the old gas line for the old gas yeah. fridge. They capped that off. So they're going to they're gonna test my heater. My thermostat is broken. So they're going to bypass my shit with their shit to test the heater. But they're not going to test. Oh, okay. They're going to test the heater. But whether the heater works or not, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have because I'm going to cap off. off the gas. Surprise I winterized the camper last dog. year in August. And didn't open the camper until August this year, which means my hot water tank sat with Mr. water in Richard it Smoker. and now is destroyed internally, yeah. presumably. Um, with not just water, but antifreeze. Yeah, water, antifreeze, and now there's a bunch of rust and shit in the tank. The so if I wanted heat, if I want heat, after, let's, let's assume that the heater does work. If I want heat, I got to replace the regulators for the propane. Uh, and that's a couple hundred bucks. I'm not doing that. If I want hot water, uh, I got to replace my Surprise hot water tank. That's <laughs> not happening. That's not happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also, I never ever cook on the range. So no hot water, no heat, no gas for the stove. Those three things, who, like, essentially, who gives a fuck? Because I've never winter camped. Um... And I've never, since I've owned the camper, had gas hooked up to it, propane, yeah. to know if any of those things work or not. So it's no skin off my nose. Test my heater. Let me know the status of it. So if and when I'm ready to prioritize gas, at least I have a fundamental understanding of what was happening last time before we carry through with future plans. Bang. That's the gas. So also, I got to get a new brakes breakaway. Yeah. Emergency brake breakaway. The, the, on the front and all battery. that stuff basically is only good if you have a battery yeah. so now I'm going to have to go through and get the actual battery I got the battery box I've had it since day one but never had a battery they're going to rewire my 7 way for me because it was wired incorrectly by my homie yeah. and now we have to like apply the brake to yeah, put power really to the jack so I'm going to get my 7 way thing and then so that all really that's going to get done um, and then, and I'm going to wrap, we're getting ready to wrap up right now here. Um, and then, actually, I'll just play the outro. So all that front shit needs to be taken care of. Remove the regulator, toss it, cap off the gas. And then... That's right, Captain. And then... 
They said that they might have a little crank box to fix my broken window. I'm hoping that they can do that. But what I really wanted to say was this. So now I have to pay them for the my bottom of my camper is covered in tin. I don't know how they're going to cut that out and fix it and not make it the way that it was before. It's got to be like riveted on. I'm sure they'll just... I don't know what they're going to do. They'll know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're doing. I think they might have tried to call me today. I'm not sure. But either way, here's where I'm at. The camper leaked water. I don't know if it was from pipes or from clogs or from bursts or, the or bad tanks. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and I got that backup issue with the water. So I said, fix the fucking camper. Make it pull straight. Make it pull safe. And make it dry. And make it work at night you know make the electrical yeah. work because i had like maybe a bad ground perhaps causing me some issues with my rear lights and that's where i'm at so they said that they were gonna fucking do some things and try to get a hold of me i have a missed call from 11:30 this morning but i'm not sure that that was them <laughs> Because uh, I always got so many weird numbers calling me and I told them the best way to message me is on messenger anyway And they've been pretty good about that So yeah, so uh, this is just gonna repeat right so yeah, so that's what's up the campers in the shop The equalizers is a job that I didn't expect and then oh well I don't know if I just said this or not But I'll just say the same thing again if I didn't get to the point like I never do I went there and did all everything that I just said and then they're like, okay, to check the water lines, you're going to have to pay so that they can dig to the water lines and assess the damage, and then we'll give you a quote for the damage. And I'm like, uh, okay. So that's where that's Gosh, where it leaves yes. off. Yeah. They have... Oh, man. And then, and then for my electrical problem, they're like, look, we respect that you have a budget. You know, obviously you recognize that we could burn through your budget in a minute. But let's do this for you. We'll inspect the electrical for an hour. And we'll just do you one hour on the electrical. And then I we'll like give you an update. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And if the update is, well, we figured it out. And it's going to take an hour to fix it. Then maybe another hour. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe on Check the flip the side in that hour, it. maybe it only takes 20 minutes to fix the problem. You know what I'm saying? So, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I got to pay $250 labor for them to dig under the camper to get to the water lines to assess the damage and then get the quote on the water. That's on top of the inspection. Right now, I don't mind being open about the amount that I owe. As it stands, I have to pay $750 for the equalizers and like $125 for the inspection. inspection. So maybe those numbers don't equal what I'm about to say, but I currently owe them $870 and then the quote that they gave me for the 250 for the labor they haven't added that to the 270 870 yet yeah. but the labor and then the estimation yeah. and i'm going to go through with it who what am i going to do i know we're done the show but what am i going to do fucking pay them to fucking find the problem and then not pay them to fix it like yeah. nope i'm good like but i mean like how, how much more is it going to get though it can't be. It can't be. It can't exceed my you budget. Can, you can say. A, you can say that, but I'm. I'm hoping that it doesn't exceed my budget because no matter what happens. Like here's the thing. Hopefully they, they don't find any real problem. Don't can blow me. Yeah, that's a yeah. good. That's better re thing to say. And then on my end, I'm thinking it's a small thing. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a small thing, and with that. I'm like saying it can't be more than my entire budget. And if it is more than my entire budget, I know they're not watching. So it's like I'm going to fucking pay it because I need my shit dry. What am I going to do? Have you assess what the fuck happened and then say, no, I don't want you to do the job and shop around. All they're going to do is charge me another fee to inspect what was already inspected because they're not going to go on my word because I'm no fucking professional. Right. So, yeah, they... Plus, these I, guys probably won't put it all back together for you to take it home. They'll just be like, okay. Right, yeah. And Fucking so, again, so I'm consenting. I want them to do this and everything and fix it. But goddamn if also on the other side of the coin, they I don't got, got me by the fucking crossed, balls. Man, I've got my fingers Thanks, crossed. man. I've heard right. of some fucking horror stories, so... Well, it's been dry and it's been good for years. Hopefully it wasn't some slow leak yeah. that all of a sudden started getting real bad. Hopefully it was just God bad right damn. out the gate and we've caught it.
early. Yeah. Anyway, that's the whole show. Oh, uh, go ahead and go and enjoy your insane clown posse shoot interview. Uh, I'll be in the chat, and then uh, I guess I'll probably uh, be restreaming it for homies that want to watch it. So hit me up if you want to watch it. And then if nobody hits me up right away, I'm not going to restream it. And I'm going to sit here on the couch and go back and enjoy it on the big screen because I got company coming over. So anyway, I didn't pay attention to any of the chat. So thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Positive Vibes Live. We'll be back next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go check out Studio 17. We got a shitload of content over there to constantly consume. Uh, and I think that's it for now. Okay? Okay. All right, we're done. We'll see you next week. Whoop, whoop.